for the second longest point streak by a Penguins player in their first season with the team. And the man of the hour, Lars Eller, in his 1,000th game, takes the opening draw against Nick Suzuki. He'll set it up for Struble. Aiden Struble will work his way to center ice with it. Throws it in on net into the glove of Tristan Jari. Must tangle up in the corner. Gensel on the puck. Knocked loose up onto the wing at the point. Kept in. Thrown towards the net. Allen makes a save off of Graves. They follow up and... Again batted wide, this time it slid to the point. Here's Graves, got it across, rest with a drive. Kicked out by Allen. Crosby side of the net looking for loose puck, it doesn't get to him. Right off a two goal outing against the Islanders, but it's turned back, Pittsburgh on the attack. Jake Gensel drops it off for Russ. Throws it in front of us off the blocker of Allen. Seventh place in their division, they've got a lot of room to make up. Pass it front, Slavkovsky with a chance, kicked out by Jari. Get them on the board first in this one in Pittsburgh on Hockey Night. Evans on it again. Got it up to the point for Struble. Sent across. Samard with a shot. Jerry the save. Malkin will chop at it. He'll play it across. Rust hands it off. Crosby back to the point and a shot right on by Graves is handled. Well, I'm part of an NHL record. Four guys in one year, the same year. A tip towards it, and Allen made the save, and Savard got a piece of it. Tracked down by O'Connor. Got it back to Malkin. They'll hand it across. Ruido with a try. Allen fights it off. O'Connor trying to get it back to the net. And there comes Crosby. Hands it off. Gensel for posting in. Back to Latang. Shooting out on the save. Oh, and a great chance. Somehow gets to rust or not. Power play's just been anemic, and it's something that they've really missed. And there's the shot from Latang from the top and it's one thing when Eric Carlson runs it at the backside and he's so good at it too he likes the fake shot he likes the slap fake and he likes to look for people off the net whereas Latang is going to be more of a shooter and he misses it Penguins power play was one for eight against Florida last night they're one for 22 yep. only scored two goals in four of the last five and they lost all four of those games centered in front and Tipped just wide by Jeff Carter. Matheson up with the puck. He'll hand it off for Uri Slavkovsky to center for Monaghan. Monaghan checks up, throws it on net. Jerry with the save. Now Slavkovsky forces the turnover. Chance here for Monaghan to Slavkovsky with a shot, and Jerry slides over to make the save. Comes around the net, trying to get it in front for Jake Allen. Now it's back for Ulanen. Ulanen drops it off. Matheson with a shot off the glove of Jari. Ulanen fired it around the board. Stopped at the point by Cooley. Thrown towards the net. Kicked out by Jari. Plays it over for Kandana. Down the wing. Snapped on net. Jari the save. He's after his own rebound. Trying to tuck it in. Outfield down in the corner. Plays it back around for Caden Cooley. He's met by Russ. Pedersen up the wing. Suzuki stopped it. Caulfield for Matheson. Walking in. Backdoor pass. Scores! What a setup by Mac um, Matheson as Kanan Cooley fires it home. And the Canadians take the 1-0 lead. This year, they're right up at the top three teams in the National Hockey League with goals from their blue line. But this gives you an indication of how the National Hockey League has really changed over the years. This is a defenseman coming in off the blue line Passing off the corner of the net to another defense. Trouble trying to get back after him. Malkin was there. Picked up by White. Colin White back to the line. Ruido with a shot off the glove of Allen. Struble plays it behind the net. O'Connor will pick it up for Pittsburgh. Feeds the point. Joseph for Chad Ruido. Throw it towards the goal. And Jake Allen will make the save. That's it behind the net. Crosby after it. It's kicked loose. Rust comes up with it. Carlson shoots, Allen the save, batted in front by Gensel, and then Gouley and Crosby were all tangled up. And Gouley shook up on the plays. He is hurt going to the Canadian bench. Meanwhile, Chari makes a save. As Crosby is even Steven with him. That's a highlight, I'm sure, for Sid. And I'm, I just think, how did he miss the two in the first period? He could have had two more goals right there. And he's 10 and 1 in the faceoff circle tonight. Now here comes Slavkovsky. Taken to the boards by Pedersen. Latang 
trying to move the puck away. Slavkovsky got it free. Monahan tipped to the point for Struble with a shot. And it makes it through as Jerry fires Heller. Will play it ahead. Pusin and coming in. Can't get a shot on net. Raquel follows up. Centered. Pusin in with a chance. Scores! Lars Heller in game 1,000. Buries it. And it's 1-1. For a guy who's committed himself to the National Hockey League and his teammates over a long period of time playing in his 1,000th game is going to be the recipient of a healthy rebound off the right pad, or oh, and off the skate of Matheson, and then right to the forehand of Lars Eller, who buries this into the back of the net. The quick release, and the guy takes it back to the net. Pass in front for Armia. What a setup. Armia trying to jam at it. Jerry the same. He'll cover it up and hold on. Skater. He gets this puck, controls it, and then watch the presence of mind to drop that right in the front to Armia. Matheson on the puck will lay it across for Nick Suzuki. Suzuki in front to Monahan. Here's Slavkovsky scores. Your eyes, Slavkovsky fed it in front and it banks into the net. A power play goal and it's 2 1 Montreal. Well, he was trying to be a good teammate. He was trying to be unselfish. Back door, but Graves' skates are going to come into play here. Watch 27 in the slot as this thing works itself through the seam and over to Slavkovsky. Bingo. As he goes down to block the seam play coming across, it goes right off his leg. And then there's no way that Jerry can be there for that. And of course, the back door, you've got Caulfield sitting right on the back door, and that was the guy's Hold it! Hold it! Hold it. Tank, waiting, frozen on that. Allen the save! Allen in front with a great chance! Allen stops it! Oh, what a glove save! To just hold on to it and keep dragging it across. And what happens is Evans can't get in the lane to block it. He gets the shot through, there's a rebound, and Lars Eller should have had his second right there. And Allen does a nice job of not going face plant flat down. Suzuki doesn't come up with it at center, and it's Pedersen that's on it. Pedersen dropped it off, chance for right shot, and Allen made the save. I think just good job by St. Louis to just move him around to another line, and playing with a veteran player, he, it's, it's worked out. Well, that's probably the best part about the confidence for his game is that Latang with a shot kicked out by Allen. Crosby will take it. Sidney Crosby, watched by Kane and Gooley. Latang for Pedersen to Crosby. Oh, Buck scores! Gutsel has tied it on a great play by Sidney Crosby. He did last night in the third with a great pass. He knows he's not going to be hit by Gooley, so he jams the brakes on and then gets it back to the point. He's going to receive it on the cross play through the seam. He doesn't even look. Watch when he gets this puck. There's no way that he has looked and saw Gensel at all. You know what? He just knows he's going to be there. Because Gooley, Achari over to help out. Matheson has got it. Matheson will ring it around the boards. It gets by Carlson and out. And this game will go to overtime. Five and three. Lars Eller will take the draw against Monaghan. Game 1000 tonight for Lars Eller. And Monaghan wins it. It comes back. Slavkovsky winds his way up to center. Into the Penguins. Oh, Slavkovsky to the net. And a stop made by Jari on an empty play by Slavkovsky. Crosby trying to catch up to it, he won't. He'll head off for the change, and Matheson is back. Matheson finds his way up through center, over the line. Matheson backs up, throws it towards the net, taken away, and a break for Pittsburgh. It's a two-on-one. Raquel hands it off. Scores! Pedersen gets the win. Jerry, and then the Penguins on a missed rush by Montreal. Of all the players that jumped over the bench in this overtime, three on three, 
Pedersen is the most least unlikely guy you think would score. And not just score, but what a shot. Watch this thing as he goes straight upstairs. Short side glove. That is a big goal in what is going to be a long road for the Penguins getting into playoff contention. <laughs>